feels pretty good. So I have a good day ahead of me. Uh, I am going to the gun show with my dad uh, for a couple of hours and then I'm gonna be going hunting with my buddy. Um, and so right now I just stopped at the bank to try to get some cash because you know I don't know what I'm gonna get. I might see something I have to have at the gun show. But um, I guess I, I forgot my pin or maybe my pins changed since for some reason because it keeps telling me incorrect pins. So I'm gonna have to come on Monday and get that all sorted out. And I wasn't able to get any cash, but I'll just borrow some from my dad. It's no big deal. I just wanted to take a step out of the equation, but I guess I can't. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be, uh, I'll be taking you along on the duck hunt with me. Um, me and my buddy are going to a redhead spot that he's got. Um, and that's pretty much gonna be my day. It's gonna be awesome. All right, everybody, so I uh, just am now leaving the gun show. It was pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff, you know, just like anything else, you gotta look for the good deals to find the good deals. I got uh, some, I got a pair of rear sights, or I mean a front and rear sight pair uh, for my new AR that I'm building. And then I also got a uh, Osprey scope that I'm gonna do like an in-depth talk over when we get back to my house. So right now, I am going hunting. So you're gonna be getting two uploads over the next couple of days. One's gonna be of like a gun show overview. They wouldn't let me film inside the store, or I mean inside the convention center, but I can tell you a little bit about it and the kind of stuff we looked at. Uh, and you're gonna get a hunting video. I'm just gonna kind of go over what I got at the gun show. Uh, and I'll just start, I only got two things. Uh, for my AR that I'm building right now. I got this Osprey Global. Uh, it is a three to nine by 42 optic. Uh, I'm gonna put it on my AR. Came with uh, a drop adjuster, specifically for uh, 55 grain, 223 ammo. And then it came with dust covers and I got a really, really good deal on it. I was working, or I, uh, this guy was that was helping me uh, is like a main distributor for Osprey in Texas, and he was just showing me this, and I looked at all the optics at the gun show, and this one just really, really impressed me. Uh, the main thing that I really, I liked about this was the eye relief, and how you can be looking at it through both eyes like that, and just pull it up, and you can acquire a target easily. Like I can still see, I don't know if you can tell how far away that is from my face, but I can still see the entire reticle that far away. And from that close, I can see it. And I can pull it up and I can see it. It's, I mean, you get the benefit of the zoom with the rapid target acquisition of say a, red, a reflex or a red dot. And for the price range, I just, it was incredible. Uh, the reticle is laser etched in as opposed to being wire, and so that's really impressive. And it's also got different color options. You can go with the black if you don't want to use your battery, or you can change it to red, depending on the background. Like if you're hunting and it's the fall, you don't really want to use red because in, not in Texas so much, but like in other states like Alabama or Georgia or whatever, uh, it's going to kind of blend into the background. So you can also change it to blue, which I think is really cool because the blue is going to stand out on most anything. So I thought that that was really cool. Uh, really, really impressed with this optic. I went in thinking that I was just going to go and I was going to try to get some irons and I was going to try to get... Uh, Try to see if I can find a good deal on Magpul flip-up sights. This is a different brand, but they're very similar to the Magpul. I can't, I don't remember what the brand was. It's like, it's some smaller company based out of Houston, but they're just flip-up sights, just like that. And they go onto any Picatinny rail. I don't know if you can see, but they're, uh, I mean, they're real nice. They feel just like the Magpul ones, really. They're adjustable from left to right. Uh, and I am impressed with them. So I'm excited to put them on. 
I can't use the front post yet because the upper that I ordered for my AR is your standard A2 upper, so it's got the A2 front post built in with the gas block. Um, but eventually, probably in the next like two or three months, I spent a lot of money on the AR. Um, that I mean, I got a, got really good deals on the parts, but I'm in college, so it seems like a lot of money to me. Um, but I'm going to change up the gas block and put a low profile gas block and then I'm probably going to get like a Picatinny uh, rail system for the handguard and that's really going to be coming and I'll probably I mean we'll do some videos with the AR shooting that and my dad got a, a SIG P226 which is probably probably my favorite 9mm pistol and so that's really exciting and that'll be cool to go shoot that so we'll get some shooting videos up soon we also went hunting yesterday and so that video will be coming up after this one. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Always stand up for what you believe in. And I'll see you next time.